I've shown a variation kind of like this off a failed single leg, right? That's why I've been hitting more recently from the back. And I love doing this one, right? There's a guy who did this recently in a competition. He had a really cool technical setup with the hands. I'm not even sure how to mimic that, but here's how I like to set this up, right? So I'll sit here, pretty standard, use the backpack, right? We're hanging on the wrist right here. We got the backpack. We're sitting on nice and tight, fishing for chokes. He's trying to fight the grip, all that. Really normal setup, right? So what I'll do for this lap pull, right? So I'm gonna say I'm gonna tip him over just a little bit, right? So doing the same setup, he'll probably go for the side anyway, right? I'm gonna push my hip just a little bit away, nothing crazy. I just want a little bit of leverage and kind of cut the angle more this way, right? So as we're working, I want his arm to be a little loose, right? So if he's keeping it hugged nice and tight down, it might be hard to grab, right? I wanna keep fighting, doing this, let him fight my grip, right? And wait till they get lazy on this side. So when he does, all I want is to flare his elbow a little bit, right? When I flare the elbow, I'm gonna reach around I'm gonna grab right here, right? So I like to do this, especially no gi, because it's slippery, right? I'm gonna reach way over. I'm gonna grab the elbow right there. Now I'm hugging it nice and tight to me. And I've got the wrist flared down. So I lifted my elbow up to flare it, turned his wrist down, and then I grab. Now when we're here, I wanna pull back. The reason why I turned my hips out earlier is because I'm gonna push my hips against him, right? So it's gonna pull right here, right? So we're here, I'm gonna lean back, I'm gonna pull to there, right? Now it does is it tears right here, right? A really simple to set up. It's very low risk, right? So again, we're here, we got back there. Very simple, he doesn't feel anything different, right? So we're here, we're still fighting for chokes on, he's still pulling my grip down. All simple stuff, right? Now you're turning, some people might think that you're trying to go for an arm bar or whatever, but I mean, that's fine, right? So I'm turning here, and again, I want this arm to be lazy. When his arm's lazy, that's when it's easy to hit, right? If he's really hugging down tight, that's gonna be hard. It's gonna have to like force his elbow up. That's tough, right? So I want his arm to be lazy. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep fighting for chokes, keep me worried about that. I'm not even sitting here and act like I'm gonna try to trap his arm or whatever. If I get there, I'm great, right? But I'm gonna sit here and really act like this is the interest right here, is this. But I'm waiting for this to get loose, right? So over here, five minutes as soon as it's loose, I'm gonna flare, or I'm gonna turn the wrist down and lift my elbow up, right? So I'm gonna flare it and I'm gonna reach way over and grab. Once we're here like this, I'm holding it tight to me, it's not gonna go anywhere, right? Now I'm gonna hips forward and pull. There he is right there. I'm going to pull this elbow across his head this way, right? As I drive my hips forward. The idea is to get this arm to stretch as far away from here as possible. Now, twisting the wrist does help it, right? So I'm here, I'm twisting, that will help a little bit. But the biggest thing to help is getting that deep grip right here, hanging on to it tight. If I get this, it's a great grip to have, right? This here, just hit forward. I'm having trouble flexing with it or not. I need to still climb the legs up, work on trying this like that. Like, I don't want to leave yourself one option, right? So we're here, again, still really tight, still really simple place to be. It's a nasty, nasty setup, right? 